everybody, this is Tom from Verizon Hobby and Spectrum RC. We're going to do some videos on how to set up drive modes and how to better utilize the drive modes that are already in the DX5 Pro. So drive modes, they've been around for a little while. They've been on radio since the DX6R, the DX5R has them. But uh, the 5 Pro we're really going to use to kind of outline just how helpful they can be. In this video, we're going to cover stability mode. Let's get to it. So with stability mode, really the goal of stability mode is to keep the car as stable and going as straight as possible. It's using a lot of ABC gain, put a little bit of expo on the steering, and it makes the car really manageable. So let's go through what's on the radio and what makes stability mode happen. All right, so we'll use our pre-assigned drive mode switch to switch us over to stability mode. That's the E switch right here. All right, slick stability mode, all right. So stability mode, it uses a combination of ABC gain, and rates and exponential to keep it going as straight as it can. So if you look here, we've got 100% rate on steering, we've got throttle at about 76. You could turn that up a little bit if you're trying to go a little faster. But really the idea for stability mode is just to make it, it's almost like trainer mode, but a little bit more hands-on. Uh, same with AVC, the AVC is turned down a little bit and, and just like that. And once again, if you guys want to set up drive modes on your own, Go to drive modes and you can set them up here. The OTF is the switch that you're going to use, such as like the DS switch that we're using here. And you can label the different modes like we have here. So stability mode, great mode for just trying to drive around, keep them straight as possible. And if you really want to do some drag strip stuff, you could turn the rate up on your throttle. So the DX5 Pro has a lot of drive modes pre-built into it as you've seen here. And you can set up those drive modes on any radio that has drive modes available. Drive modes are super easy to set up and if you want to just follow along with these videos and you can set them up yourself or get your hands on a DX5 Pro. Alright so this has been Tom Bomb, and this has been another explosive video. Thanks guys, like and subscribe.